It's like, huh, what is my problem? It seems to be growth. Maybe I should build the hang gardens. It's pretty smart. So the two cities I want to settle are all, uh, both kind of awkward. One's right up against the Greek territory, one's right up against Brazil's capital. This city... It's such BM to settle there. Can't believe I don't have a commercial hub in my capital. So this city wants to grab the heavy food tiles, I'll swap over there. This city wants to grab productive tiles. I've never actually quite microed this heavily before, I guess I'll grab that tile. This is definitely an important optimization when your cities are this close. They're starting to get a better view of the world. Who is this? It's China. How many cities does China have? Uh, six. But it's definitely looking like someone had more land. Oh! Is my slinger about to meet his end? And I'm going to actually research this in order to get the pikemen. Alright, time to factory up. I think I have 1 equals 2 still. Maybe I'll send 1 to Jerusalem. Uh, 2 faith in the capital. That's pointless. Never mind. I don't think anyone else can make alliances yet. Maybe he gained a lot of culture? Nope. He didn't gain enough to go for alliance. I want someone to form an alliance so I can <laughs> diplomatic service boost. Two two six one. I'll take that. Although Kumasi wants a trade route. Um, I'll set over to Megara to have a really short trade route since that trade route's really bad. The Toronto city-state. A great scientist. Rip my slinger at last. You did well, slinger. You did well. Alright, so this is the time of great factorizing. Forbidden city for another uh, wild card policy. I like that. I think it actually is important enough to get this to 7 that I will clear the marsh for the food. There, seven. Need to get my commercial hub up. Then maybe I can get more trade routes so the city can grow better. Great scientist triggers the Eureka moment for three random techs. Hmm, do I want that one? Medieval and Renaissance, was it? Renaissance or Industrial. Own two crossbowmen, own two bombards, kill a unit with a musket, and then have the Enlightenment Civic, have two forts, kill a unit with a knight, two neighborhoods. These are all, these all tend to be pretty tough to do, so I think I will take this. And it's a great person, which is good for, uh, earn three great people. Yeah, and here I am on my path to a great writer and whatnot. Place needs housing, I need a greenery. Okay. Plus two production, suzerain four, none, regional effects from your industrial zone, reach three tiles further. I don't actually need that because I've prepared. I am prepared. What's this one? Your cities get 15% production towards wonders. Cute. 
Train a pikeman, but I'm about to train a pikeman, so I'll just do that. Speaking of train a pikeman, I need to train a pikeman somewhere. Or build a pikeman. Buy a pikeman. Pikeman, 400 gold. Pikeman, 5 turns. <sighs> a lot of money. Wow, there's the capital? Oh man, Greece started in a terrible spot. He doesn't even get three tiles to the north because that's apparently ice. I've never seen a capital quite so bad before. I wonder why he didn't settle one to the south. Maybe because he didn't scout. Yeah, he probably didn't know at the start. That sucks for him. Props if he wins from that starting spot, right? Oh, I just rested on top of the there. From the light came light. Juicy. From the dark came darkness. But from whence did they appear? Yin and Yang combined to create all things. But, but which is the source, and which was born from it? Deep questions. Alright, suzerain of that place. Frederick Barbarossa denounces me. Lovely. Probably for me becoming a suzerain of one. So, I want to be a suzerain of quite a few city states uh, since I become plus 5% cultured, I believe. My thing. So, when can we get alliances? When civil service is researched. When are you going to research civil service, my friend? So going for straight for electricity is generally pretty good in this peaceful setup. Might want to go banking first, though. I have both boosts. Yep. Banking it is. Salvador. Have I decided where to industrial zone here? Oh yes, I did. I wanted to build it there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good spot for it. Really good spot. Valletta has declared war on Toronto. Toronto has declared war on Barbarossa. Toronto. Alright. How close are you to civil service? So I can get my freaking... Uh... I actually need to go mercenaries exploration. Ever forward without a pause. Far rushing trade federation. Yeah, me too. Actually, I was. I probably should have rushed trade federation. Exploration, yeah, yeah. Okay. There start to be patterns on key text to get, and that's definitely one of them, as the. Only non-faith related uh, tech, so I can, one can get to exploration without civil service and guilds, but guilds lets you get the plus commercial hub and industrial zone bonuses, which I guess isn't that big a deal. Civil service gives you the plus one culture, which I guess isn't that big a deal either. So I guess it might be a good idea not to take these two, but medieval fairs is needed, which is require civil service. So anyways. <laughs> I still need to get my um, my fourth trade route going. Who's training a pikeman? I'm just gonna buy a pikeman. That would be next turn. So these two will get a boost to three. Uh, this guy wants a great general. It's pretty unlikely, or is it likely? 
It's not very likely. I go ahead and put my three there. Plus four gold for commercial. Playing the city state game is actually pretty good. Get all these small bonuses. They're not small. A non formal ally can be. Great. You just don't get to boost me as all well, then. I think we'll both get the boost for diplomatic service. So, give me an offer when you get to civil. Oh, I can upgrade a hoplite to a pikeman. I'm so dumb. That would be a really good idea. Well, that's a double quest. Alright, so I have two suzerains right now. Maybe I should just be a suzerain of this one. Uh, wait. Government, grab a... Oh, I still have two equals one. Oops, I wanted to switch that up. Uh, plus one of many for cities with a garrisoned unit. That could be good. Oh, crap. Well, anyways, since I get the suzerain... Ah! Ah! Send an envoy, why can't I send an envoy? Oh, it's because I ended my turn. No, that means I can't. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll get it after this. So, my goal is actually going to be very Greek. I'm going to try to be a suzerain of every single one. Oh, I don't actually have an envoy, that'd be why. I'm going to try to get uh, one guy in every single city. For the bonus amenity. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Th oh, we can't actually settle there anymore. Yeah, let me put that to Safriel. Um, city. I'm... I don't have much space, so I'm going to settle in that spot. Marked. It's all good. Man, that space sucks! Uh, I guess I really don't have this space. Well, once I get all the factories up, uh, this is going to be getting a lot of adjacency bonuses from the factories, so it'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. 6 city, not enough. But sure, just don't take my desert hills. Uh, sure thing, my city probably expands east. My 6 cities are very cramped. So, I'm just going for a cramped bad city strategy. The, the city is bad, but you have to take into account because of the bonuses from all the factories. Uh, one, two, three, four, five factories? The city will get plus 15 production. And once I get the power plants online, that's another 20 production, so it's plus 35 production for a city there. So it turns out that you put a city in even a garbage square and it becomes ridiculously good if you plan if it has a lot of adjacencies. Don't worry, you can't beat my tundra cap. Yeah, my archer saw a little about that. Sorry about that. Did you move your cellar? Ah, crap, I never got to my trader. Initial settler. Feels bad to waste a, a boost, but oh well. Four trade routes usually is a really easy one to get. One south, still bad. Did he start on the coast? There's no way. No way, I don't believe that. Hey, I can actually build a uh, wonder near my ultra state. Sure, let's do that. Wonders are fun.
Let's see. All right, I've got a guy in each city now. Plus one amenity for garrisoned. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, one equals two. Hold on, yes. Uh, um, plus one. Ah, missed it. Alright, new policies. Um, plus two influence points per turn. Actually, plus one gold from each of your envoys. I gained a lot of bonus ones. That's a good one for me. Plus two housing with at least three is a good one. Plus one amenity per is a good one. So, the factory adjacency bonuses are kicking in. I got plus nine from factory right now. That's from other factories. Everything is going to start taking a very small amount of time to build. Ruhr Valley could be interesting here. Uh, Ruhr Valley. Plus 30% production in the city, plus one production for each mine and quarry. Um, quarry, quarry, mine, quarry. This is not a big mining city, so probably not here. But Ruhr Valley in one of my cities will probably be really good. I have to remember I'm going for a cellar over there too. Um, should probably have this city build it since it's at such a small population. All my cities are barely growing, uh, which is kind of good in the sense that that was my plan. Alright, so 7th city will barely add any... Uh, 7 and 8, they're both pretty decent since amenities hit 4 cities apiece. I really want to get this city still. Oh, Engineer. Um, yeah, get in there. It's a good one to rush. Twitch makes you play a lot better. Oh my goodness, I didn't put my amenity thingy. Oh well, I'll switch it over. Wait, how did I? I guess I just forgot. Alright, well, city states 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Wow, that's 18 gold a turn. That's really good. All these small optimizations to be made. Alright, someone's got to build the bank. <laughs> it's like I can't even mess up the city location. But I guess I could build it in one of these five spots. But... Alright. Really nice, uh, small, compact... I have. Um, I might be able to just settle here and be like, you know, Brazil, you're in no shape to fight me. I'm just gonna take this spot. How are we doing here? Military strength, we're keeping up. Science, I'm leading. Not by that much. These three are uh, out of it, it seems. One of which is my neighbor, Greece. Culture... I'm getting 60 culture a turn. I'm gonna zoom through. Orgo is getting a bunch of culture too. Because Greece builds those free cultural districts. Kinda nice. In an alternate world, I might have only been able to settle four cities here. And I'd be like, this is so terrible. Like, I wouldn't get that city because I would feel it was too close to my capital. Probably build one over here and one over here and one over there, and I'd have like my four, and I'd be like, I have all the cities I can get. How come I can't get anywhere? Anyways, we can probably bully Brazil into just taking that spot. Great person grants production towards wonder construction. Well, I'm on a wonder rule. Let's do it. One of these uh, cities is bound to have an excellent Ruhr Valley. This one has a lot of mines near it. Let's see. I would be building it on a plain hills. Oh, I could take that square. Mine, mine. Can swap over there. That would be a mine. 
can take that spot, but that steals a mine from there. This is eventually my square. Hmm. Plus 3% production in the city, plus 1. Well, it might not be important that it's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's all the adjacency bonuses. It, it's good. I'll take it. Uh, I should probably swap out that tile. I don't have to build on a mine that's already there. River Valley... And this city is going to be really gross in terms of production. Rio de Janeiro with some excellent routes. Let's see, put my great person there, we'll go ahead and move it over there. I think if we uh, continue at this peace track I'll be in really good shape. Interestingly enough, I have the plus 15% production towards Wonders, Civic, or er, Envoy. Pretty sweet. Plus one culture science. Each city receives plus one culture. That just increased my uh, culture return by a lot. Let's see, trade routes, everything is going to Rio. Uh, Salvador I have, Athens I have, so I need this one and this one. Alright, when I switch over to the new government, I'll definitely get amenity policy. So this city will be in range of these two factories. How about that one? One, two, three, four, five, six, no. That one, the one, two, three, four, five, six, so three factories. These things are so powerful. They're all nice and clustered in the middle. Seeing how effective this is makes me think this has got to be the best way to build the city. So always build your guys in the, your cities in minimum distance of each other. I wonder if he has the alliance yet. Nope. I'm way ahead in culture. You disappoint me. The diplomatic service humanism. I'll go humanism first. Actually, how close am I to a great artist? Not that close. But he might have uh, gotten that in three turns. Possible. Will this be a city without a campus, or will I build it over there? Like, does this already have a trade route to Rio? Oh, oops. Oh my gosh, the governments! Okay, here we go. I almost forgot to change government. Alright, plus one amenity, plus one culture and science from international trade routes, plus two gold from trade routes. Man, that's not a great one, but I sure have a lot of uh, spare ones right now. I am the government master, as long as I remember to fill the governments. Alright, so city-states are the cities that I still need a trade route from. I have Athens, Eritrea, Salvador, and I'll have that one. I need these two and one over there. So this has a plus 12 from factory right now. It's a pretty good city already. thinking about. Is this city worth it if you just took that citrus? Well, I mean, it's still for the same reasons. 
It's just adjacent to a bunch of factories. And it can build a factory all the way here. One, two, three, four, five, six, which can hit one, two, three, four, five, six, four cities. Even a city like this would still be good, even though it doesn't hit the citrus. I would also get a pretty good campus over here. I'll just have to go with a lucky seven city. Or I could settle up here. Uh, ew. Gross. Got it. That's a strange mistel. Recruit a great merchant. Construct a holy site. Recruit a great general. Safriel at the Colosseum. Wow, what kind of insane bonuses am I getting on this? Uh, trade routes to any city-state provide plus two culture and plus one gold for every specialty district in the origin city. Holy cow. Wait, was it always that good? Plus 15, plus one, plus 10. Well, sure, right? How good are my other trade routes? Plus two, plus two, plus eight, two, plus two, three. So I get seven extra gold, one less science, seven extra culture. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doesn't matter which city I send it out of either. Oh, did we run out of friendship already? Here we go again. We need to be friends so I can do that diplomatic service. Go, go, go. I don't think I actually plan on attacking Brazil in some time either. Shall we be friends? Oh man. My guys are really productive now. My friend, let us form an alliance trade up. It'll save me uh, some amount of culture. It bugged out for me. <laughs> Next turn. Mm, all right. Next turn. Bugged, huh? Hmm. Now, do I offer my friendship with Pedro? Once he uh, takes the friendship deal, I can just settle here. I'm using everything from Pericles. Surrounded by glory, plus 5% culture per city state, I'm the suzerain. I'm using the wild card policy. I used the hoplot, I used the Acropolis. And here I was saying this wasn't that well suited a multiplayer sieve, but I used all of the bonuses. Good stuff. Hmm, Acropolis on that style tile looks pretty solid. Oh, plus one culture from each adjacent city center, so it's just really good next to the city center. So I guess this one should go here, and then this one should go there. Since I want to get Acropolises everywhere. Maybe I'll go for a cultural victory. Control everyone. <laughs> plus four right there, but don't I want to get... Like something there. I don't see a deal. Hmm, strange. Who's working this tile? Is it the capital? What else can I build here, district wise? Acropolis here would be next to three districts, but here is apparently really good. I guess I'll build it here. 